Short Creek is located about 12 miles east of Somerset, just off of Highway 80. For geology purposes, it's been said to be the shortest creek in the world. The creek is 150 feet. Short Creek is a place where the ceiling has collapsed over a cave. The cave had a stream in it. As the, as the roof collapsed, the stream was exposed. Uh, it also goes by a technical name, a karst window. The term karst describes the topography where there are sinkholes and a lack of surface streams and some collapsed sinkholes like Short Creek. There are caves beneath that carry the water. The water that comes from as much as seven miles to the north in what is called Sinking Valley. Sinking Valley is a north-south trending valley. It was developed on top of the sandstone that used to cover this area. The sandstone was eroded away. The stream then encountered the limestone and gradually the, the groundwater began to form caves. My students and I were the ones that, that proved where the water came from. And we did this by inserting tracer dyes uh, into sinkholes and sinking streams that were in uh, Sinking Valley. And we collected samples of the water here with with uh, special devices that would allow us to, uh, to analyze for these tracer dyes. The water that flows southward and uh, comes to this location emerges from the, from the side of a limestone cliff and then disappears into another. And from there, it travels underground a short distance and then disappears from our view and flows out to Buck Creek, which is to the west. It's important to my family from the historical perspective. It's been in our, it was originally a land grant of my mother's great, great grandfather, William Riley Mize. And it's a, very important to this community. We have hosted a number of weddings at this location, in addition to it being a popular spot for baptisms from the local churches. The water is almost always 52, 54 degrees all year long. My mother was baptized here in February with snow falling. About 30 people were baptized uh, that day in the snow. It was in February, the temperature then was 52 degrees, so it was probably very pleasant. Well, somewhat pleasant. For many years, there was a grist mill here. Uh, the last, um, there have been at least four mill houses it was um, so then the local center of commerce uh, back in the early 1900s and the 1800s. The last mill house washed away in 1958 or 1959. If you have a short time here, uh, there is a little trail uh, on the north side that goes uh, along the, 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 the cliff side and takes you across to the cave entrance. You can, you can walk down into the cave there quite, quite safely. As far as wildlife is concerned here, there are uh, cave crickets in the cave. Bats may occasionally stop over in the cave during the daytime in the summer, but the cave is uh, too well ventilated to make a good place for our bats to hibernate. There's a wealth of wildflowers here around Short Creek, and one of my favorites is here, the hepatica. It's liver leaf is what the, what the word means. These are, some of them are blue, some of them are white, some of them are pink, and of course there's lots of spring beauties and trilliums of various sorts. All of the usual Kentucky wildflowers are here. Short Creek is private property owned by my mother. We do welcome people to to visit, the picnic and walk around. Don't allow camping or we don't allow repelling off the cliff. 
and we just would like for people to respect it and keep it, keep it clean and respect it for what it is. There's one thing I would ask anyone who visits this place that I, that I like so well, that is to take care of it. We don't need people's names written on the rocks. We don't need garbage piled here. It's a special place. Please take care of it as though it were your own. I think most people come just come to gaze at the, at the beauty. Some people might picnic. There are a couple cave entrances that you could do, take a short little trek through the cave. Get your feet wet in the cold, cold water in the summertime, warm water in the wintertime. Just enjoy the natural beauty. It's a beautiful space that's incredibly unique. When people come to Shore Creek, they welcome to our little bit of heaven. The natural beauty is just, to, just very, very special. <laughs>